Let's try this beef hot pot that's self-heating. But first, let's clean up the shed. Day two of my shed restoration project. I'm just gonna be spending a few minutes working on the outside of the shed. So my plan right now is just to get everything around the shed clean because there's a lot of work that needs to be done on the outside anyways. Today, I think I'm gonna be cutting down some of the plants and stuff here, all of the lambs quarters that I have, but I do want to keep the seeds and stuff. So we'll see what I end up doing. I'm gonna just grab a bunch of like, garbage bags and stuff like that and get rid of some of the trash over here. And a few people mentioned that I should just do all of this all in one day. But the purpose of this series is so that I can get into that routine of shooting my content, editing, and uploading all within the same day. Like that's the main purpose of this project. And the benefit of that project is just me getting my shed cleaned and decluttering and everything. And so instead of like shooting a video and then going to a different day and shooting another video and shooting another video and so on and so on and then just sitting on all that content for like weeks or months and not editing them and then doing anything with it until like half a year later and so like i have three or four videos that should have been uploaded last year but i I'm still sitting on it because I haven't been able to complete filming it. I want to get into that sort of like mentality and mode where I'm getting everything done right away. And for those who don't want to watch like 20 videos of me cleaning the shed, I'll make like a short montage or something like that later on. If people want that, I'll do that. But for now, this is sort of like a daily vlog. Um, if you don't want to watch, then just don't watch it. These videos are more for myself than anything because I, I document document my entire process. And if this helps you, that's great. If it doesn't, then you don't need to watch it because I am re-watching these videos a lot. I go back and I learn from the things that I've done in the past. And so I like kind of reviewing the things that I've done. <clears throat> so yeah, this is gonna be moved. So the lamb's quarters here, they're seeding right now. This right here is just a bunch of its seeds. And so what I plan on doing is I'm just gonna pick it, leave it to the side and then eventually dry it. So I can use the seeds and like spread it around so I can have more of this growing around my shed. And next year I'll maintain it a little bit more uh, because lamb's quarters is really good to eat. Like I love eating it and it tastes amazing. I love it. And some of this has kind of gotten old already and so I don't really want to pick it anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this down, clear it up a little bit and there's a bunch of trash here and uh, we're gonna get rid of some of the trash today. I want to be able to separate the things that I'm going to keep and the things that I'm going to throw away. But yeah, these have a bunch of seeds on it so I'm going to kind of dry it out and keep it. Yeah, I am really impressed at how much lamb's quarters grew right here. And all of these plants grew because of the seeds from last year. Like I planted only four of these in the garden area here. And then when they started seeding, I just like toss all the seeds everywhere. And I was not really expecting them to actually even grow. And so I'm actually pretty happy at the result. But yeah, these lamb's quarters are really healthy. Their base is like super woody and it's almost like become like a tree almost that's insane yeah it's it's really really woody and it's almost like like a tree i feel like i might be able to leave some of them like the larger ones in the garden and hopefully maybe they'll just harden throughout throughout like throughout the winter and then they'll start continuing to grow into a really large plant that might work I've got so much lamb's quarters right here, like just a huge bundle. I am going to try to salvage as much of it as possible to eat and to keep the seeds too. There you go. Just kind of pushing everything back helps a lot. It's amazing how much of a change there is with just this for a tiny bit of work. Yeah. I cleared this area, it's beginning to look a lot nicer. Now I can freely move back and forth here and get up all the trash here. 
So cardboard pieces like this, I actually can separate into one pile and recycle these at a nearby recycling plant uh, uh, for free actually. And I didn't know that we had a recycling plant for like cardboard for free like this until most like until recently. And so had I known, I would have like saved these in a pile instead of just throwing it back here. <laughs> so pile of cardboard. This right here. I don't even know if I want to salvage this at all. Like this right here, I don't even, like I don't know if I can salvage these bottles or I might be able to, but it's just so gross. This is fine. I can probably just clean this up easily. But I bought these bottles so that I can make like, like a hot sauce or something or just bottle some sort of liquid or drink. Should I keep this? I feel like I can because they're glass. And it's not that bad. Yeah, I'm gonna see. I, I, it'd be a waste to really toss these. Okay, they don't look that bad. I might be able to sanitize these. So yeah, I have these funnels too. And it's just filled with water. Pretty much because I left these out and then it rains and then <laughs> this happens. I have these rocks. These are, um, uh, this is uh, Georgetown Flint. It's another piece. That's really nice. Where are the caps though? I don't have any of the caps. Oh, here they are. Oh, they look filthy. Okay, I, I, I should be able to salvage this. I'm glad this doesn't stink. <laughs> okay, that's all I got for the caps. So yeah, well, I don't know. We'll see what ends up happening here. Dumping this. This bag right here was like the pump and additional items for the raft. I'm just gonna toss this. Here's my aluminum pot that I use to dip my chickens in. I boil water in this and then dip my chickens in it. But there's a small hole here at the bottom now, so I'm gonna toss this too. Just buy a new aluminum pot. Look what I just found. I completely forgot that I had these. It's my cast iron pots. Holy crap, they've like rusted. Oh God, that's gross. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, this has gone real bad. Yeah, all rusted like this. So when it gets to this point here, when it's this bad, you have to do this thing called electro electrolysis or something like that, where you throw this in like some water, I think, something like that. And then you put like an electric current through it to get rid of all this rust. Or, or I can throw it into an acid like vinegar or something. Cause at this point, like you want to strip everything. I might make this into a video or learn how to do that process. I don't know how to do it and I'm kind of scared to because I don't know anything about electricity, but I might give it a try. Nate Petrosky on TikTok knows how to do it. So I might ask him for some help. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is another one. This is a smaller cast iron pot. Yeah. Cast iron is really good. You can throw the whole thing into coals and really high temps and uh, it'll be able to withstand it. And, and these are really nice, so I should keep these. Yeah, we'll uh, do a project and restore these eventually. This is my fire box. <laughs> There you go. This thing was really, really cool to use. Oh, 
God, this thing reeks. This right here is a bunch of like wood chips and, and chicken manure. <laughs> I need to go off a little further and dump it. Ooh, oh God, that stinks. There's so many like pill beetles and worms and stuff like that over here. <laughs> it's quite amazing to be able to see this section again. Like I laid down brick like two years ago in this area. See? All these square bricks, I laid these down. And to be able to see this again, <laughs> it's kind of amazing. This definitely feels good. Feels good to be out here and getting this crap taken care of. Like, I would like to spend all day doing this, but I have other, like, responsibilities and things that I have to do. And doing 10, 20, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour of this is enough for me. Like, it's enough work to keep me engaged, and it's enough work to where I'm making enough of a difference to where I feel accomplished. Like literally right now, I can stop and I'll feel accomplished for the day. Like this is huge for me. Like being able to just see the brick. Like that right there is huge. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting rid of a lot of this stuff. All this trash. And I'm uncovering the things that I own. <laughs> this is like the Winterwell fire pit. Oh, there's so many worms and stuff here. Yeah, there's like a bunch of worms here. I can use this for fishing. Oh yeah, I really can. There's a ton of worms here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm actually gonna keep these. Holy crap, there's a lot of worms. Okay. I've uh, got all these boxes, pieces of cardboard that I can throw away at the rice recycling plant. Oh, I have a whole roll of cordage. This is my th number 36 bank line. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, I did buy a new one. Okay, I remember now. Yeah, so this one here was my old uh, pot where I used to, um, to boil my maple sap to make maple syrup. And then I also did use this to boil water to process my chickens too. But yeah, it had a hole and so I bought a new one. This one is the clean new one. Okay. <laughs> Just found my little hatchet. Oh, yeah, we can make a video of me restoring this. <laughs> Got it. It's all rusted now. I can probably hang a new handle also, but actually it's not that bad. It's still pretty good. I can just leave the handle and just sand it down and make it look nice. But yeah, that's nice. Yeah, not bad. Good. So I have a bucket over here, this one right here, and it's filled with chicken feathers. But because it's sitting right here on the edge of my shed, it was filled up with water through the spring and summer. <laughs> I think all the feathers and stuff has kind of broken down and they're, they're no good anymore. It's kind of run now. And so I'm probably just going to just toss that or compost it. I think I'm done. This is enough work for me today.
simply being able to see like my ground here, my, my tiles that I set down is a huge accomplish for me. <laughs> let's uh, eat something. Yeah, let's eat something. I have this like really cool Chinese hot pot thing that I want to try. So let's give it a try. Okay. Throw this back in. Good. All right. Pull this over, sit down. I think we're good. Let's start eating. <laughs> Let's try this beef hot pot that's self-heating. All right, here's the beef hot pot. It is really, really cool. So there's a bunch of stuff in it, so let's get started. Okay, so open this up like that. This right here is the vermicelli noodles. Pickled vegetables. A seasoned beef. And this is the tomato flavor hot pot seasoning. There's this plastic container. Some utensils. Uh, I've got a spoon and chopsticks, it looks like. And this is the heating element. This right here is going to be sitting at the bottom here and I'm going to be pouring water up to a line or something like that. Okay, this has some instructions, I believe. Ah, yeah. It has instructions right here. Yeah, take out upper white container, add the vermicelli and everything. Oh, there's a specific order to put everything in too. Let's uh, start with the white container here. Add vermicelli. So I've got this. There you go. Pickled vegetables. Oh, wow. Holy crap, this looks like it's gonna be a really good meal. <laughs> Holy crap. Like, look at this. It has, like, this right here are our lotus root, lotus roots, bamboo shoots, these mushrooms here, seaweed. Oh, wow, that's really nice. Okay, then seasoned beef and then the hot pot seasoning. There's the beef. Wow, this is like really large whole pieces of beef. <laughs> See? Not bad. All right, then tomato hot pot seasoning. Now, it says to add drinking water to the maximum fill line. And I'm assuming it's this line right up here. There, and we good. All right, so this, this is the heating element. Now open this up. Place this inside the black container. And then you're supposed to add cold water to the maximum fill line on the black container, which is probably right around here, I think. But I think it's probably best to throw this in first. There you go, like that, there you go. So now I'm going to add water on the edge here. I feel like this requires a lot of water. So I've used two water bottles already for... Okay. Okay, I think it's good now. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Do you see it boiling? Holy crap, that's awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna cover it up. Uh, yeah, I think this is fine. So we're gonna close this. There's a hole right here that will let out steam. And this will cook for about, I think, 15 minutes or so. Yeah, do not touch the box or block the vent on the lid when heating. Set aside for 15 minutes before opening the lid. Essentially between the liquid in the white container that we're going to be eating and the main black container to, heat, uh, to activate the heating element, takes two water bottles. Oh wow, see, the body is getting super it's getting super hot. This is crazy cool. All right, well, I'll be back in 15 minutes. It's been a little over 15 minutes now. <laughs> wow, it's hot. This is crazy. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if the camera can capture it or see it, but there's steam. It's steaming hot. And the vermicelli noodles are all nice and soft here. Let's just mix everything up. Let's try the soup first. Oh, the soup is like really tomatoey, and it's like really savory. It's, it doesn't taste like tomato soup though. It's really tomatoey and meaty. There's no spiciness at all. It was good. It reminds me of my uh, bum ryu, which is that tomato based soup that I made a while back. It was the tomato based vermicelli noodle dish. The soup tastes very similar. Very nice. I have the lotus root here. It has a really firm and crunchy texture. Yeah, it was really good. It almost tastes like a, a potato. Oh, there's slices of potato in here too. They taste like half cooked potatoes, like these right here. Hmm, that's good. You got the mushrooms here. What are they called again? They're called the, oh, they're called the wood ear mushrooms. They're wood ear fungus mushrooms. And then you've got some seaweed. Let's try the chunk of meat. Chunk of beef that they have. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my God, holy crap. It's really smoky. And it tastes like, like a higher quality version of like canned beef, like beef stew or something. Like the pieces, like the, those chunks of beef in the beef, imagine the piece is a lot bigger and it just smells really smoky, it has a better texture also. Holy crap, that was really good. Okay, yeah, that's amazing. I don't really like how like there's so many single use plastics in this entire thing, but it's it's really interesting technology kind of. The military has been using this sort of technology for a long time. Using that heating element and being able to heat up food like this, like it's super cool. I find this super fascinating. Like I am sitting here with a hot meal with water that I just poured in and that's it. That's all I needed. Just water. It doesn't even need to be boiling water. It has to be cold water to be fat, in fact. <clears throat> that was really good. Okay, the mosquitoes are coming out. I'm gonna head in on inside. This has been a really good meal. And, <clears throat> and I feel like I've been pretty productive today because I've been able to get some of the trash out and then I have the cardboard that I'm going to toss out in that a recycling plant later. And yeah, I'm slowly clearing things up. So tomorrow I'm just gonna do some more work and uh, yeah, eventually it's gonna be done. <laughs> Biggest thing is going to be actually starting to, in the shed, like getting stuff out of the shed, cleaning it, tossing it and stuff. The squirrels and mice are doing damage on the shed like every night, every day. Um, and so the sooner I get this done, the better, but I'm just still taking my time and I'm doing one piece at a time. So that way I don't overwhelm myself. And I have other stuff that I need to do also, you know? So like I'm gonna head inside, get all of this edited, upload it and get other work done. <laughs> so yeah, I appreciate you watching. Please smash that like button, consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Oh, and check out some of my new merch. I've added Clueless Bushcraft at the bottom of the logo now. And uh, it's a small change, but it looks really nice. So if you wanna support my channel and uh, help fund Raven's Emergency Fund, everything from my spread shop goes into Raven's Emergency Fund. So if anything happens to Raven, you can pay the vet bills and everything for her. And so, yeah, I really appreciate your support and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this works a lot better. You know, the chunks of meat. It's so good. Ah, oh, here's another nice chunk of meat. Oh, smoky, tender. Mm.